so for chapter 11, um, there's two types of uh, marketing. There's transaction-based, which is more focused on the purchases and less, fo <clears throat> less focused on the actual relationship between the company and the customer. And then there's relationship-based, which focuses more on that relationship. Um, a lot of the times you'll see companies wanting to make that shift. Um, and the way they do that would be through, you know, treating them like partners or listening to their needs, seeing what they want and making sure that their, their opinions matter. Uh, this will bring in more customers. Um, you know, if, if you have customers that keep coming back, they're more likely to tell, uh, their friends and family, which can create more customers and which would help increase profits, which is the ultimate goal. Um, so for relationship marketing, you want to focus on the long-term relationship between you and your customers. So um, you do this by meeting their needs, listening to them through surveys, focus groups, stuff like that, which we've learned in previous uh, chapters. And then you're gonna want to have a strong customer service. Um, anytime uh, customers have problems, which they will, um, you want to make sure that you're listening to them and helping them as best you can and as nicely as possible. And then lastly, you're going to want to keep in contact. So uh, we talked about it in class, uh, car salesmen, uh, keep in contact, you know, they'll call them up, their customers and see how they're liking the new car, see how it's working out for them. Um, the thing with that though, there is there can be a fine line between doing it too much and not enough. Um, you want to find that middle area. Obviously, there's going to be people on either side that find a couple times too much or a couple times too little, but you want to find the majority of the people that will be happy with the, that certain amount. Um, next, there is the uh, external and internal relationship, which would be external would be your customers, people that are buying your goods and services, stuff like that, and then internal which would be employees. So both are just as important because um, obviously you want to have a well-maintained relationship with your customers for obvious reasons, but you also want to have a positive relationship with your employees because those are the people that are going to be in contact with your customers on a daily basis. Um, if you have poor relationship with them, uh, that's going to translate uh, to the customers because they see them daily on a daily basis. So that's very important. Um, there's three levels of uh, the, let me check here real quick, forgetting it. Three levels of relationship marketing. I don't know how I forgot them. Uh, the first one is uh, based off of price, which is uh, little to no uh, relationship involved. They're more focused on the transactions, stuff like that. Then there's the uh, social interactions, yeah, customer service, communications, stuff like that that are going to involve the customers and stuff. And then there's interdependent uh, partnerships, which would be... Uh, this is one that I'm kind of confused on. Um, transformed into structural changes that ensure partnership and interdependence between buyer and seller. Uh, that's the definition on the paper I've... I feel like it's more simpler than what I'm making it out to be, but uh, that's the third one. Um, there's also a database marketing, which would help create customer service and uh, more of like a, a relationship between them, you and your uh, company, or geez, you and your customers. Um, oh, my lights went out. Whatever. Um, so you want to be able to keep your customers. Um, so basically you do this by uh, uh, different tactics that marketers will use. So the first one is uh, customer churn, which is identifying the percentage of the amount of customers that don't use your product or like stop using it. So um, this is important because it identifies uh, who's not using your product 
or not continuing to use it and the, the people that you need to focus on. And it also can help you uh, focus on which problems you might need to work on. Um, so that's a very important uh, percentage that marketers will uh, focus on. Uh, the next one would be uh, frequency marketing. Um, this one is, uh, let me check here. I'm really forgetting. Ah, uh, the uh, uh, stuff like uh, prom like promotions and uh, stuff like that that will keep customers wanting to wanting to keep buying certain products. So if you have like a promotion or exclusive uh, sales going on, that will keep customers coming back, especially uh, ones that have like loyalty programs. It'll keep you keep that customer coming back because they want to have the mo create the most savings that they can for themselves. Um, usually the more uh, times a customer will buy something, the more savings that they'll have and that will keep a customer coming back. And then there's also uh, affinity marketing, which is uh, partnering with another business that's like non-competitive and uh this will create uh a new material um that will keep people interested so uh like taco bell and doritos they're not really competing against each other well they're not but they kind of work together and create something that would have kind of common interest for uh, customers and it could keep them coming back so they constantly keep Taco Bell will keep doing something like that and it'll keep customers coming back rather than going to uh, another taco place that's just putting out the same old tacos. People want to try something new. Um, all of these, you know, certain uh, tactics will lead to customers becoming uh, advocates for your company. Um, there's three different types. There is the grassroots which is customers connect through non-mainstream uh, channels. Um, there's viral, which is customers will spread the word by themselves. And then there's uh, buzz, which would be uh, you get volunteers to try your product and then they'll be able to talk about it and kind of review it based off of that. Um, moving on past that, if you do end up losing some of your customers, there is the possibility of uh, retrieving some of those customers that you've lost. Um, this can be done through uh, new programs, almost like uh, the affinity marketing, D new things that will keep people coming back. If you lose them, uh, you, you put out something new, it might kind of catch their eye and want them to make them want to come back and try that new thing. And maybe they'll like that and it'll just keep rolling like that. Um, the thing with retrieving lost customers is that it also gives a company a chance to find potential problems that they can fix in order to stop losing those customers. So they'll want to fix those problems as soon as possible to keep, uh, customers. Um, the sooner they can make those patches, the better for their company, the better for their profits and stuff like that. Um, partnerships can also be something that can create new markets and want people to uh, come back and keep buying your product. Um, there's buyer, seller, and internal types of partnerships that you can do, um, all very important, uh, depending on which one you want for your business. Um, oh, there's also lateral too, which I forgot. Um, Co-branding and co-marketing, um, basically it links uh, two companies names together and then they can also market each other's products as one and kind of work together that way uh, same kind of thing as the affinity I think which would be new things new products new new uh, services stuff like that to keep, keep, keep people interested um, finally you have the supply chain which if you keep managing the, su the supply chain 
properly and efficiently and effectively, you're going to increase innovation and decrease costs. Those are two of the many uh, perks that you get if you effectively uh, manage the supply chain. Those two things, the lower the price, more people can come in, um, more innovation, uh, more people <laughs> want to keep trying that those new products. So overall, the uh, this chapter is very important for uh, you know uh, increasing profits and wanting to uh, keep a positive relationship between the customer and the uh, the company because it's more than just lowering the price because a company another company your competitor can also just uh, lower their price too so that's not hard you got to find ways to outsmart and try and want to bring customers back.